well, here I am, back in town. Got a last minute call to do a lovely VBA course, my favourite one. This is becoming my work uniform, isn't it? <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm back at Surbiton now. It was a really fun day of training. That's my favourite course, VBA. Just missed the rain. Well, I got caught in it coming from the station to the car park, but at least I didn't get caught in it in London. That was a, a really good thing to have happened today because quite a few uh, things have become stressful and worrying <laughs> and might alter completely. I think the fun part of these vlogs is going to be doing up the flat and that has to be done but um, it's really in the balance whether we go ahead and buy the property in Guildford and even get an equity release for doing up the flat is proving ridiculous because the underwriters want to have um, a tenancy agreement in place and I can't really get a tenancy agreement in place until I've done the refurbishment and put it on the market. So that's really odd. The mortgage broker said he's worked really hard to try and convince them. Um, so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about that. Um, the other things that are going um, not wrong with the house in Kilford but are putting the whole prospect in question, they're all a bit personal. <laughs> and I can't really be open with other people's personal things in my own vlogs um, so I'm thinking although it does seem like it's a really good move and a good move for our future um, and investing for our retirement that other people are finding it too stressful so that might go by the wayside and my dad's very keen to invest some money so how I could overcome the problem with the equity release for refurbishing the flat is forget that as well and ask my dad if he would like to um, kind of buy in as it were to our investment property in London and then use his investment to the, do the refurbishments that would be one way of doing it I think I'm quite kind of pleased with how calm I'm staying through it all it would have been really fun to go through the whole process of um, what you have to do to buy a house here and all the conveyancing things and the searches that would have been interesting to vlog um, but that might not happen this time round we'll just have to see and um, <clears throat> I'm keeping an open mind because sometimes you need to just be determined to see things through but I've done quite a lot of that in the last few years and just ended up getting really really burnt out so I am considering it carefully and rather than pushing through on something that I think is a good idea I might let it go and then maybe a better opportunity will come up so I'll keep you posted <laughs> never seen this road flooded like this. This is crazy. It's like driving through a river. Hi everyone. I kind of need to do a little bit of narration in this part of the story. Um, when I got back from that very wet drive, Ben and I had a chat and I said to him, maybe we shouldn't go ahead with this because it's, you know, there's lots of things that you're obviously not happy with. And he was really shocked, <laughs> which is so strange uh, because he just did seem very stressed by quite a number of things. So, 
we talked about it a bit more and then the following evening we were invited around to some friends and we talked about it a bit more and it got very stressful but I kept being very clear about how I wanted to be spoken to when another person is stressed out <laughs> and I became quite aware as well been lorry, very noisy, that I tend to or have tended to in my life have given in when somebody else is like freaking out about something and just try and keep the peace and I suddenly thought um, this would not be a good idea I'd be giving up on what I think is a really important plan for our financial future and for Darcy being a student so yeah I did I felt kind of sad at the idea of not having the property but I also wanted us to be able to go ahead with it without there being so much stress so I went up to the flat the next day yeah and he'd gone up to Oxford to take his mum and his brother out so we're talking about a couple of weeks ago now that's how much that little episode kind of set me back in terms of telling you this story but I'm back on track now and I went up to the flat and I uh, sent him a text and said I'm at the flat if you want to join me and he said it was really nice it was like being invited on a date and we had a nice dinner and we stayed the night there and then the next morning we went for a beautiful walk and this is the next part of the video We come up to London to do a bit of looking around, checking out our flat, thinking about what we're going to be doing with it. And we've come for a walk and I think some of your relatives are buried here in this cemetery, aren't they? Yeah, Ancestors. but there's thousands <laughs> and thousands of uh, headstones, so yeah. um, the likelihood of finding them, and we're not on that kind of mission, is, is uh, unlikely this morning. Now we've just come for a, a walk and going to go and have a coffee in Ladywell. But it's just so magical walking through this. This is your view, very sad. It's like being on holiday, isn't it? It is holiday. Yeah. Every day of the United World work is holiday. Tired. <laughs> I've got to change the wheel. 